Hello once again, and this is J. Ashley Spencer. Hello, J. Ashley Spencer here. J. Ashley Spencer. This is J. Ashley Spencer. J. Ashley Spencer, and I'm not naked, by the way. <laughs> Weird way to start a video, but um, today's video is all right. So I've not permanently given uh, Aqua to my grandma. But, um, just temporarily, because on Wednesday, I'm getting my room done. And I can't wait. I literally can't wait. It's really bad lighting in here. So, like, I don't know when my mate Jake has taken back his, his fish here. In this really murky tank. But, yeah, I, I've got plans for that tank, by the way. I've got plans. As well as the Albino tank. That's going to be set up after we do our room up. But with this, I'm going to have to move this because cause we're doing the flooring. So we we got to put the insulation in. And then um, we need to do the flooring over that as well, over the floorboards. I um, also need to paint it as well. So my tank is temporarily going to be in the little room around there. And yeah. So this means I'm going to have to empty out all my fish into here. Put all the water into there. Put all the fish in there. Bring the fish around. Or I, I only fill it up to about I don't know, like that, or maybe double that. Yeah. Bring it all the way around. Get my dad to help me lift this into the little room. And yeah. And it's going to be impossible. <laughs> it's going to be an impossible task. It's going to take like. Probably get to take like five hours or something. I'm not gonna like uh, sort of like time lapse it because I can't be bothered. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably pick up the camera in each stage of it, and then you'll you'll see slowly going down. And yeah, so catch you in a bit. Okay, so we're halfway through um, there. Uh, that, that that one that was right. Let me flip the camera. Also. I, I literally just gonna get my words out there. <laughs> this is literally halfway full up. So I can't actually move this because it's way too heavy. So basically what I aim to do is leave these two things in here till it gets to about here. So then it'll be really, really mega easy to catch all the fish, basically. Because the Paishas are quick, the Garamis are quick. Don't know about the climate loach, they might be quick. Their units, they might be quick. Um, I've actually got my net in my car, I've just realised. But you, you can already see the top of that. I think tanks look so, so nice when they're so low, I don't know why. It, it just looks cold, it, it looks like a little river. When I get a big tank, I'm going to have a really long, like, a long, wide, low tank. With a load of things going out, like a terrarium or whatever they're called. A little waterfall at the end, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, um it's just a quick update before this fills up, so I'll catch you in a sec. Okay, sweet. Right now I'm gonna get all the fish out. Um I might make this a time lapse. Depends how long it takes, basically. <laughs> oh god, where do I even start with this? I say maybe if we take this out first. Give the fish a little hiding spot. Uh, take out this piece of wood. I could have done this tactically and sort of like pull the pleck out of the wire and take them out, but maybe. Let's go for the harder way. Um, and then, yeah, take this out. So when I do really do this tank, I'm going to be keeping, probably keeping that pot on. Um, not, not, I might keep this part here, I might keep the small one over there as well, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be a new scape sort of thing. Right, how are we going to do this? It's the first time actually, like, catching most of my fish in here. Get in the net. Get in the net. 
you know you want it. Oh God. Oh, try something else. Oh my God, they are jumpers. They are jumpers. Best idea is probably. Sweet. Right, go first one. First one in. Right. So I think that was I think that was the king Garami. The dragonfish is gonna be hard to catch. Just realised. Right, is the little glass catfish? Oh, no, caught one by shot. Easy. Get out of there. I can't believe how big the by shot got. Why? Right. I'll double check. This is <laughs> recording, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Probably isn't actually facing the right direction, but whatever. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. Oh god. This is really hard. This is mega hard. Alright. Let's call that albino shark. Um Another Albino shock. Easy peasy. Oh my god, this is well hard. Some one. Oh god, this thing is gonna splash. No, oh, maybe not. Oh, he's gonna splash everywhere. He's actually just taking a poop. <laughs> These fish are strong. <laughs> I'll go high. It's a big climate perch. Mate. Right, try and get. I'll try and get the shark. Oh god, no, he's too hard. I'm going to try and back him all that way. Right, got the shark. So I think once I do my room up, this tank's going to be in a different location. It's probably going to be where my turtle tank is right now. Oh god, that's in a small one. I didn't realise that. <laughs> I thought it was in the big now. I was just like, where's it gone? 
wish I had one of my friends here to help me with this little process. Quite, quite hard. Oh no. Oh god, I, I kind of squished the fish. Not like form, but. Come on, mate. God, hopefully, he's alright. I like these ones. Oh, thank you. I think he's doing alright. <laughs> alright. Now oh, we got some of the harder fish. I'm scared if I put my hand in here, they're going to bite me. So I'm not actually going to be using these bricks in my next. Next build, next scape. I mean, it's gonna be more uh, sandstone-y sort of one. I think if I do an English tank, like English fish, like sticker bags, and little bullhead sharks, <laughs> then I will include these to make kind of like more like a river sort of tank. Same with this. I say this one's more like ocean, but alright. Chocolate line is not too nice to kind of chuck out. I should have basically done this in in the morning. Kind of screwed up to you. Alright, three, two, one. Oh wow. <laughs> Thinking that would work at all. I literally just scooped that back off. Come on, you know you want to come this way. Come on, mate. Come on. So, I feel like that is all the bashes now. So you've got all the sharks. Near, I actually know it was not the bushes. You've got one gourami, one baisha, two of the cichlids, one more catfish, one more pleco, suckfish, dragonfish, and reedfish, I believe. Probably a fish that I've completely forgotten. Oh, she is quick. Catfish. Oh. Literally, it's just putting all these fish in here. And then having to move the tank. Fill the tank back up. Catching these fish again. Putting them back in the tank. Probably won't do a full on aquascape or quite scape, but I do like a little half scape. It's like not too, just a little temporary one. See how that, how that goes. Um, Alright, cichlids, I reckon, are going to be really hard. I can. Whoa! <laughs> that one just jumped. Got it. Right. One more cichlid. One more flasher. One more pepper. It's the more active cichlid. Oh my god. 
more active and it's way stronger. Literally, little cichlid. I'm not gonna leave. Literally looked like he was trying to play dead. Oh my god! Where's he going? Don't even know where he's gone in here. Oh, he's going bottom. Where's everyone? Things get. So the fish has taken us 15, uh, 13 minutes to get this many fish. We still got most of them in there. Still got a pleco, dragon goby, reed fish, and the little sucker fish. And I'm pretty sure that's everything. It's gonna be a fish. I'm gonna be like, "What the hell are you? Where did you come from?" So yeah, All right, I'm gonna have a little break. It's quite hot. So yeah. Okay. Um, literally. Can't be bothered to turn down the music, but yeah. So we got the reed fish, drango bee, flecko, and the little sucker fish somewhere. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's right there. Didn't even see him. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a mission and a half. I can't believe that reed fish hasn't grown yet, but whatever. See you in a bit. <laughs> After many moons. He finally got over fish out. Look how big Clive is, Jesus. Oh, all the fish are gone from this tank. It's like that shallow. I don't know how we're gonna. I'm gonna have to probably drain it out a little bit more. Obviously, take all this out. Just whack it over there. This bucket is so heavy, like so heavy. And um, this is the stuff I'm probably getting. Not get rid of, but not use. Except the little shell. That's my girlfriend's. Uh, I use that, but everything else I don't think I am going to use. Um, I'm probably just going to get a few more of them. And I'm actually going to trim. It's going to be like a little, little stage where I'm going to like trim all these down, play with it, and see it, see what looks nice and all that crap. So yeah. Oh god, this is going to, it's going to take ages. This has taken about an hour and a half so far. Thought there was a snail there. <laughs> yeah. Alright, um, yeah, once we get this out, the room's going to open up so much, because we, we would have lost two tanks. Got my fan where my total tank is, where it's supposed to go. I really didn't like the sound of that. God. Um, basically, what we need to do, we need to move, move this into my little room, fill it up to probably about there, then we can get the heater going. And then probably this filter here, and then uh, we'll start. This is just a holding tank. It's supposed to be like I don't know, like a few hours, like five hours maximum. And fill this up to a su substantial amount, and then just let the rest. Yeah. Yeah. Once it's gone, God, it's gonna be mad. I'll probably leave this on my bed for now. Maybe my bed. I don't know. Put like a uh, towel down first, and then put this on, and then empty out all that under there, um, and move that into the little room. Move this little room, fill it up, heat up that, put the fish in, put that in there. Won't put the uh, rocks in, 
put all that water back in the fish tank and yeah, I'll kill for the sake. It's gonna be fun. Alright, see you in a bit.